In preparation for selecting your courses for the next school year, we need to review the graduation requirements for all classes beginning with the class of 2016 and beyond. We reviewed the State of Hawaii graduation requirements for the class of 2016 and beyond. Today, you will be provided with your own transcript the, that lists all of the classes you have taken and earned credit for or failed in the past. We'll, we will be going over each part of the transcript and then breaking it down into parts for you to follow along. Teachers, please distribute the student's transcripts and the graduation requirement checklist form. This is what a typical transcript looks like for a senior. Your transcript may look similar to this depending on the amount of courses you have taken or how long you've been in school. Let's look at the various parts of a transcript. The top of the page, you will find your demographic information, like name, date of birth, your student ID number, enrollment history, and transcript statistics. In this area, it shows your cumulative GPA and class rank. The bottom portion of your transcript shows all of the courses you have taken. They are grouped by year the courses were taken, along with the title of the course the ACCN number, grade, and credit earned. The total credits earned at the end of the year is also indicated. The credit summary may be confusing for some of you. Pay attention to the very bottom where the total credits are indicated. Remember, in order to be promoted to the next grade level, one must earn a minimum of five credits for 10th grade, 11 credits for 11th grade, and 17 credits for 12th grade. Ultimately, a total of 24 specific credits are needed to graduate and earn a high school diploma. Using the graduation requirement checklist, you will be able to analyze your transcript to see if you are on track for graduation. As much as possible, please follow the steps as I go through them so you understand how to complete each part. Just as a reminder, this form is a requirement for your PTP, so do not throw it away or lose it. You will be able to access it soon on Hilo High School website. If after this you have questions because you took a course and failed, or have credits that were transferred in, or took a course that was not listed, please see your counselor. The first part is English. Four total credits must be earned with specific credits in English LA-1, English LA-2, and a .5 credit in Expo's writing, which can be fulfilled by earning a credit in English 3 or 4, AP English Language or Literature, and or Early College English 100. Refer to your transcript and locate under your ninth grade year, English Language Arts 1. Write the Write in the grade and credit you earned, for example, grade C minus, credit one, under the ninth column as shown. Similarly, you should have taken world history and culture in your freshman year. In this case, a grade of C and one credit were earned. With math, most of you took algebra one in your freshman year. A grade of B and one credit earned in this particular case. However, some of you may have taken it your eighth grade year and took geometry in your freshman year. In this case, list both under ninth grade. If you retook a failed course, then place it under the year you passed it. Like math, most of you took physical science in your ninth grade year. A B and one credit were earned for this student. However, there are several of you who started off with biology in your freshman year. Notice that physical science is not a graduation requirement. So if you did not take it or failed it, it is not necessary to retake it. But you will need to take another lab science course. Take note that biology is required for graduation. For this category, please ensure that two classes you list are from the same specified program of study. In case the student passed Hawaiian 1A slash B with grades of C and B respectively, next year this student should enroll in Hawaiian 2 and pass to fulfill this graduation requirement. For PE, 
This student passed ninth grade PE with a C and earned a 0.5 credit. Next year, this student should enroll in PE courses that qualify for the basic elective PE, like swimming, physical fitness, physical education lifetime activities, or individual or dual sports, as well as health. Please refer to your 2018 to 2019 registration guide. Note, team sports and weight training do not count as PE credits. Although you do not receive credit for your PTP until your junior year, it is strongly advised that you make an effort to keep up and complete necessary items throughout the first two years of your high school career. All other courses that do not fall under any category above should be listed under electives. In this case, transitions to high school and team sports one and two are listed. At the end of the year, this student earns seven credits for the ninth grade year and accumulatively, oh my God. Remember that minimally, a student needs to earn five credits in order to be promoted to 10th grade, 11 credits for 11th grade and 17 credits for 12th graders. 11th graders, please continue filling out your courses for your 10th grade year. Keep track of your own grades and credits will help to ensure graduation in four years. If you have any questions or concerns, please see your counselor immediately. Knowing your status towards graduation will aid in picking your classes for the next school year. Teachers, please distribute the 2018 to 19 registration guide to your students. All of you should be all of you should have received a 2018 to 2019 registration guide. Please read through its pre-selected classes for the next years. However, be sure to have it for next Monday, 12-11, the STARS class. We will be going through it and using the back page as practice before writing on your official registration form. Note, the cost of a replacement registration form is $2.